hello guys welcome to another video today we're gonna use watercolor pencil to create an amazing artwork so let's get started first I'm using a mechanical pencil so I can do the sketch we're going to draw a flamingo so let's get started
Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take one of the colored pencil uh, which is like I take the orange I'm just gonna sketch the outline I'm just gonna do the outline with the colored pencil so I can erase the regular pencil Now we're going to start with the base, with the base color, which is a, which is a peach. Again, um, what we're going to do, we're going to start right here. Don't forget, it's not color pencil; it's watercolor pencil. Everything you're doing over here, everything you're doing right here, and you can just come later on and add water into it so you can blend it out
Before we go, we keep going with the the body of the flamingo. We we have to do something in the background first. We we're gonna do like some kind of like you know um, tree or I don't know like herbs you know. So we're gonna do. You know, kind of like uh, put some anime into the background, you know, so it doesn't look like empty. Oh, the the color that I was using is uh, olive green. Now I'm using another green. It's a permanent green. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, I'll put a link of these materials in the description box below this video. And it's like this is a, a paintbrush, but it's like a water water brush. I don't know. So you fill it out with water, and then like once you you 
put the, the paint if you're using like tube you can do it also for tube watercolor tube or you can use watercolor pencil so once you're done like tracing whatever you're doing with the watercolor pencil and then you can just add a little water into it and you can blend it out you know make it look more fun you know You don't have to go crazy on it, you know. Let's get straight to the bank. Okay, for the bank, we're going like that.
Now let's take the word and for the word we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Now let's draw the eye. For the eye, I'm using a burnt umber color. It's not black. This is not black. Okay. Okay, for the water, for the water brush, this time I'm using something more sharpie. Okay. And, uh, and the 
eye for the eye then it's a little bit like more yellow there's some yellow over here I don't really, the way I'm doing it, I don't really blend all the areas, so I'm just touching some, some part, you know. Let's keep going guys yeah. right here we're gonna use the same burned burned uh, umber burnt umber color
for the background again we're gonna use a blue cobalt cobalt blue We're gonna use both greens, mm, the permanent green and the olive green. Keep going with the same previous color, which is the the, the peach. Orange.
now let's get back to the red again and we're gonna use the red over here um, let's make sure the area that we're using the red it's dry we're not using nothing until the, the, the paper is dry Alright, okay, I feel like the background should should be like uh, dark, very dark, darker because that could help me get the, the flamingo pops more. So it could pops, pops, pop out, you know. Uh, let me get some, let me get some green in the background. Like really green.
Now look better already. Okay, so the background was was too light. Okay, so I had to make it dark with the green. It looks better now. Okay.
Okay, now I'm using the pen, the pen, the paint from the tube, so I can do something real quick. Real. This is the black. I'm just making like some branch of tree in the background real quick. Oops. See when it's wet it gets darker. So that's why you have to make sure everything is dry out, you know. So you don't mess up anything. I don't want this to be like that dark.
using the brown the brown color to do the same thing so what I'm gonna do is I like,
Okay, this is a this is a pen. This is an ink pen. So I'm doing the outline of the drawing right now. I'll just make it darker.
Okay guys, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye.